extremely important message. All spiritual egos will dissolve in our current energy. How to identify a spiritual ego. Spiritual egos have dressed up so many fantasies as real, they believed them. And any belief is the old par paradigm. The new paradigm has no beliefs, only love and truth. Spiritual egos approach life with their intellect, which is the left side of the brain, instead of the heart, which is the holistic brain, right and left side together, which is the divine connection. Spiritual egos look at love and truth as a threat because the real truth challenges their fantasies, and without their fantasies, they have to face the truth about the lies they have told themselves. A spiritual ego is just the old parad paradigm of power over, dressed up to look new. Spiritual egos would rather be right than be happy. To be truly happy and enjoy, the ego has to be dissolved. Spiritual egos cannot see the forest for the trees. The reason is, is because they have a whole lot of fantasies about the trees. They want to be in control of creation. All the while, creation cannot be controlled. We are unconcerned about the spiritual ego's fantasies. True reality eliminates all fantasies. True reality does not align with any fantasy. True reality has no fantasy. It takes letting go of all illusions to embrace true reality. The spiritual egos equal the programmed mind equal the illusion. Attention, spiritual egos are the most dangerous and they will attempt to deter you from the truth. Along the path of enlightenment, many developed spiritual egos as the path became too uncomfortable for them and they began forming fantasies to make it less uncomfortable. Instead of releasing all attachments, they developed new attachments. Same as taking an old car and repainting it then calling it a brand new car. So what they did was try to dress up the old paradigm and call it the new paradigm. All egos require food for survival. Its food is sucking the life force energy out of the being. It does this through its illusions, its fantasies, and anything except true reality. Spiritual egos gather together so they can feed off each other to keep their fantasies alive. How this occurs is that one may have a similar fantasy with another. Thus, they begin validating within themselves. And then they came up with more fantasies to feed the lies, referred to dog chasing its tail syndrome. This greatly has stalled there, those holding on to the ego's process, and to all those who are currently awakening. They are dangerous. We use the word dangerous because they believe their own lies and can easily convince those coming up into their own power that the lie they are sharing is the truth. It can speak of half-truths, but it can never speak of the whole truth. Because to speak the whole truth, you have to be the truth, which is love and action. Another requirement is feelings. An ego does not have any feelings. And only through feelings does one gain understanding. Through understanding, one has experience. Through experience, one gains wisdom. One gains wisdom. Wisdom to be and share the truth. Since spiritual egos cannot have feelings, they really have no clue about truth and will always find something incorrect with the whole truth because it, ego, has limits, edges, and boundaries. This is something real love does not have. <clears throat> love is limitless, edgeless, and has no boundaries. We can say the spiritual ego is all talk, with incorrect and misaligned actions that go along with that have absolutely nothing to do with real reality. It can write down some truths, even speak some truths, and pretend that it has some clue about truth, but all it really does is attempt to interweave truth into its fantasies and then present it as truth. When it is questioned, it will react in a fight or flight way, while love, when questioned, will respond with truth.
Since the ego mind does not really exist, it's just a construct of belief systems, it cannot really understand real love or real truth. Being real and living the real and whole truth is when your true being is fully manifested into this realm and only occurs when the ego, the spiritual ego, has been dissolved. For so many of you, the spiritual ego is holding the true being inside captive. This must be released for you to move forward, or you will continue being stuck, going in circles, which takes you nowhere. The spiritual ego is very subtle and tricky. It can easily create the illusion of helping, and even for the slight moments, be very convincing, just to support its own fantasies and illusions. It supports the old paradigm of power over, competition, it plays a victim or villain role, and becomes like a bully to the one sharing truth. You cannot respect spiritual egos because they don't even respect the real truth and the real love. It, is, it does not even respect itself because those within it would rather live a lie than live the truth. Respect comes from love and truth only. You cannot respect a lie. So by decreed, we give all awakened lightworkers full grace to assist in the dissolvement of any and all spiritual egos, egos across the planet. They do not serve any purpose but further isolation and separation, as well as attempting to interrupt confuse and disturb the process for others as they awaken. The moment to come into unity and peace on this planet is now. Decreed and granted and so it is. In the kingdom of heaven on earth, egos, spiritual egos, and any ignorance does not exist and it's done. It's over. And so it is on earth as it is in heaven. Love, the Earth Allies.